end of the afternoon in Ibiza. On the seafront, one of the biggest clubs on the island is getting ready to welcome the summer star. 5,000 people have managed to get a place, including many fans, heated to white. Behind the scenes, Yan, a Frenchman, is maneuvering. Hurry up, it's coming in 15 minutes. Yan is the boss of the club, and today, he doesn't leave much. He is coming. Get on your sides and turn off the light. Otherwise, he will remove the camera. He managed to land the singer that everyone is ripping away from. I'm going to say hello. Get on your sides. The star receiving it is Pharrell Williams, the singer who is a hit this summer. But as soon as it happened, the incident occurred. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for coming. You see the guy over there. He dropped his pants when I came by. It's true, I assure you. It's not happening. It's not classy. Yan smiles, but makes immediate arrangements. You fire this guy from me, you get him out of the way. Go on. However, the singer who receives it is not the fierce type. A few months ago, Pharrell Williams even produced a very sexy video, censored in the United States. But Pharrell Williams is also the voice of the summer hit by Daft Punk. By receiving it this evening, Yan succeeded in a big way. But before going on stage, the singer has a little bit of a snack. So the restaurant is closed? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, for, for the moment it's closed. But if you want to eat something, there's here. Outside, the public is waiting. Beach, so have, uh, Yan will try to feed his star at high speed. You give me the steakhouse menu first and the Japanese menu also. Bring me these two menus. Okay, that's the one. Go tell the other person he's been hanging out a bit. Fast food and express champagne. In less than 10 minutes, the singer was satisfied. Okay. Okay, all right, let's go. If Yan is tense, it's because to start his season, he bet everything on bringing Pharrell Williams to his club. The spectators are going to prove that he was not wrong. In a few minutes, the charm of the singer and his global hits will operate. There are huge fans. In the space of two hours, Yan will impose his club like the summer leader. And in Ibiza, where the season lasts only three months, it is essential. It's a really great night. A really good night. Throughout the summer, Ibiza is going to experience crazy nights. Each year, 10 million holidaymakers arrive in the Balearic Islands, an archipelago located in the east of Spain. Beyond paradisiacal landscapes, most tourists come first to party. On the program, electronic music, alcohol, and sometimes drugs. The queen of the Balearic Islands is Ibiza, where partying is an industry. It is home to the biggest nightclub in the world. But a French person is trying to revolutionize everything with a new kind of hotel and nightclub. Its high-end clientele is ready to spend fortunes to be at the forefront. They are worth between 10,000 and 25,000 euros each. But this summer, another Frenchman will try to make a place for himself in the sun. He has just opened his own club. His name is Greg Bassa, a.k.a. Greg the Millionaire. The competition is tough, and the seats are expensive. Your club is 30 meters away, so go back there. When there are a lot of millions of euros, it's a competition. Competing for 100 euros is one thing. 
All summer long, yachts and luxury villas are snapped up at high prices, like this property rented by the planetary soccer star Lionel Messi. You can expect between 40 euros and 50,000 euros per week. In the Balearic Islands, you can also party at low prices. In front of Ibiza, on the island of Mallorca, Magalove specializes in low-cost tourism. For 200 to 400 euros, tour operators offer groups of singles a week of unbridled vacation with unlimited alcohol. It is drunk well, very easily. But with the amount of alcohol taken in, the situation will rapidly degenerate. With the help of alcohol, some people lose control. Meetings are multiplying and dozens of couples enjoy the beach, even if it means taking risks. What, what did you, you do with your shorts? You short? I threw it in the trash. In Ibiza, sometimes the party ends in the ambulance. In summer, all kinds of synthetic drugs circulate. Every day, rescuers try to stop the ravages of drugs. Here there is no hour. We are working at 8, 9, 10 a.m. There is no hour. Immerse yourself behind the scenes of the Balearic Archipelago, the leading destination for extreme parties. Fifteen o'clock on all the beaches of Ibiza. Thousands of tourists relax or recover between two nights spent partying. An uproar will suddenly put an end to this tranquility. A group of hippies has just arrived like in the good old days. Forty years ago, Ibiza was first and foremost a haven for the Babacool. It is truly an iconic site on the island. Except that times have changed a lot. They're hippie. There's nothing real. They're actors. It's a part-time job, a few hours a week. I dance flower power style. All were recruited by a famous company on the island to promote a 70s party. In Ibiza, partying is a juicy industry that attracts every evening no less than 30,000 clubbers. The Pasha, the Privilege, the Amnesia, or even Space, some of the biggest nightclubs in the world who have shared the night market for decades. Recently, a new competitor came up with a concept that changed the game. A black helmet, sailor, Yan is French. Six years ago, he opened a small beach bar. We're going to the office. I'll leave that. Today, he runs one of the most successful clubs on the island, a little piece of Hollywood in the heart of Ibiza. This is the DJ Walk of Fame. I get all the artists that come here to sign. We give them a record, the name, the date. This is a small welcome fame. That's Kathy and David Guetta. Okay, Don, thank you. Bye. In a few years, Yan bought two hotels that were a bit obsolete but well located to house his Ushuaia club there. To see the extent of his small empire, you have to climb to the top of the tower, which he has just transformed into a luxury hotel. Apparently, there are thousands of vacation clubs around the world. So here it is, you so have voilà, a view of Ushuaia. Bien sûr. But next to the private beach and the tourist complex with pool, Yan added a detail that changes everything. A concert stage set up in the middle of the hotel. Result from 5 p.m. to midnight, every day in front of thousands of spectators, the DJs are performing one after the other. To welcome the public, Yan also hired 40 top models. Beautiful women, beautiful music. The concept transformed this tourist complex into a real cash machine. Hello, gentlemen. I am the baggage handler. I can take your bags. Every day, hundreds of customers arrive from all over the world to stay in this very special nightclub. Sheffield, England. England. Brazil. Argentina. Austria. <laughs> These three friends made the trip from Australia. To be well-placed, they took a room at 600 euros per night. 
As soon as they arrive, they want to check the view. The view is good. Yeah, good views. Did you come especially for that? Yes, from here we'll send the best DJs, Avishi or David Guetta. In order not to disappoint his customers, the owner of the place hired 650 different DJs throughout the summer. Artists that all clubs are fighting for in Ibiza to get the best. Yan must do it months in advance. Just before... Diego Miranda, you have a nervous nerve. The nerve is short, and you will do it at the... Since September when we started booking, until sometimes now, I have contracts to sign this morning. Besides, I'm going to have to sign all this before we leave. Tonight, for example, is it an evening that costs how much? It is a secret. I can't tell you what it's costing me. And there are big DJs who can make a lot of money and smaller guests that are more accessible. According to our sources, the lowest rated DJs would be paid 1,000 euros per delivery. Would the stars of the profession receive fees of up to 200,000 euros per night? Anna, vamos? Substantial investments, but which will prove to be very lucrative. In addition to hotel guests, every evening, Yan can accommodate 5,000 clubbers, and some will spend a lot of money. To take care of them, he has a key man, Luis. <laughs> Luis is in charge of a strategic sector, the VIP area and its 55 tables. On their own, every day they provide the bulk of the revenue. The most important area is this. Why? Because they are the most expensive presidential tables. They are worth between 10,000 and 25,000 euros each. For his customers, Yan's right-hand man offers drinks at XXL prices. A bottle of water costs 8 euros. 8 euros for a small bottle of water is still affordable. As for champagne, it's a different matter. 35, 85, and even 120,000 euros. Prices that leave you dreaming. We asked Luis to show us what the 120,000 euros bottle looks like. A treasure that he keeps well protected in this large box. It is the most expensive. We're the only ones who own this bottle. It weighs about 42 kilos. For the moment, it has not yet found a buyer, but we're going to sell it eventually. We will sell it. The bottles that sell the most are these, between 600 and 1,000 euros each. But more than the alcohol stock, Yan wants to check another key sector. See which lines there are, how many, and how they get in. Two hours before each concert, the club boss wants to know what is the status of ticket sales for the public outside the hotel? How many entrances are there? We're at 2,000 a few. I think in an hour we can put 2,000 more people in. We need to get to at least 5,000. 5,000 people at 60 euros. This evening, the entries are expected to bring in 300,000 euros. As the minutes pass, the track fills up and so do the glasses of alcohol. Cocktails and beers at 16 euros are sold out like hotcakes. Yan is about to make one of his best summer recipes. It must be said that the star he is receiving is a sure bet. David is coming. David is obviously David Guetta the chicken with the golden egg of nightclub on It's good, it's gone. It's crazy, it's full. Don't look at me like that, I promise it's full. This evening, Yan will not be content with offering a concert to his customers. As usual, he planned a little surprise. An acrobat in the air, suspended from balloons. 
the public is blown away. For a moment, David Guetta will even abandon his turntables. Yan will take advantage of this moment of euphoria to revive consumption among its wealthiest customers. Precisely, a VIP has just placed a large order with him, 30 bottles of champagne. Do a great show because the last time it wasn't great. I want it to explode. I want fireworks on the 30 bottles of champagne. 30 bottles dancing under Bengal fires. VIPs love it. Including this 4,000 euros bottle of vodka. This evening, Yan will generate more than 800,000 euros in turnover. Not to mention the 600 hotel guests, including this group of Swiss friends. They live right in front of the stage and don't shy away from their pleasure. Is it good? It's not bad. It can be enjoyed. They really got it all figured out. There's not much furniture. It's young. It's refined. Beautiful. There's incredible music. It's very modern, but for what's substantial, basically, it's very expensive for what it is. I envy the concept. I would have liked to have had this idea. Midnight, end of the concert. The 5,000 spectators leave the venue. Like every evening, the VIP area has plenty of surprises in store. Today, a French customer who was used to the premises went away leaving a small treasure. Here you have a beautiful table, which left by the way more than half of the bottles on the table. It's full anyway. Did they pay for these bottles? They are dirty, wet, and hot. They are paid. I can't get out of a bottle like that anymore. If you bring that to a table, that's it. <laughs> 20 bottles at 600 euros each that will be destroyed. Not really enough to make the owner of the place sad. It makes trade work the economy. Instead of having money kept in a safe, for him to spend it, for it to be shared among everyone, it's just as well. Customers able to leave on a table, the equivalent of 12,000 euros worth of champagne in Ibiza, that is not what is missing. Unlike the rest of Spain, this Balearic island he is not experiencing the crisis, quite the contrary. In summer, the richest customers are even ready to pay fortunes to come here. Some stay on board their yacht, but most are looking for themselves a drop-off point ashore and at the height of their standing. Even with a big budget, it's not easy to find the rare pearl on this small island. It is an exceptional villa that we are going to see. It is probably the most beautiful on the island. Salem is a real estate agent. He is about to rent this property to a Russian family. The last tenant has just left the premises. His name, Lionel Messi, the global soccer star. Voilà. Route. Let's go, Ruth. We start from the inside. Salem's assistant is already on site. Together, they need to ensure that the property is in good condition before the arrival of Russian customers tomorrow. If the house is so popular with big fortunes, it is as much for its interior comfort as for its breathtaking view. Look around you, it's exceptional. You have the sun rising in the east and setting in the west. You have sun all day with an exceptional view on the port of Ibiza and the citadel. Moreover, according to the staff at the house, Lionel Messi would have enjoyed his stay. Have you seen Messi? Yes. He even autographed a photo for me. The picture and the he was a really nice person. On the other hand, he gave me nothing. No tip. On the other hand, to rent this house, 
The king of football had to pay a tidy sum. How much does the rental cost? I'll tell you right away. With Chofo service, head chef, security, you can expect between 40 and 50,000 euros per week. For Russian tenants, the bill will amount to 140,000 euros for three weeks, on which Salem must receive a commission of approximately 10,000 euros. At that price, there's no question of allowing himself the slightest negligence. Fridge and sound control. We should definitely test the music. We are in Ibiza anyway, and when the customer arrives, there should be music in the house. That day, the arrival of the Russian client's secretary, who came as a scout, is going to give the real estate agent a cold sweat. Already last year, his owners booked this same property, and they complained about numerous faults. In his eyes, things have not improved, so she's going to give Salem some soap. Every year, this house gets worse and worse. Do you think so? After all, it's a hell of a house. The owner does not do any maintenance. Tell me what's wrong. I'll tell him. Look at this cushion, for example. The color difference between those who are in the sun and those who are in the shade. Oh yes, the cushions. For a house that you rent for the same price anyway. I agree there. A cash is missing. I would have changed these deck chairs too. The Russian secretary is leaving. To put everything back in order, Salem and his assistant have less than 24 hours. I'm going to show you. A siphon cover is missing. For safety, we can't afford that. You see, that's it. It's very dangerous. If you don't have one, you buy one. It will also be necessary to clean stains from bird droppings on the sofas. Look here and there. If you can't do it now, you do it tomorrow morning without fail. In Ibiza, it's not just villa renters or nightclub managers who are eyeing the money of big fortunes. This summer, a French reality TV star has also decided to take a chance. Facing the sea, the Jag is starting its first season. Customers love to have their picture taken next to the boss. Greg Basso, a.k.a. Greg the Millionaire. Please offer on my part at the French table. The former star of the small screen decided to recycle. Now, he owns this pretty select beach club. What is good when there is a Belgian table, you can identify them by the number of glasses on the table. With his partners, Greg invested 1 million euros in this business. Careful service, refined cuisine. It even has its own nightclub. To put all the odds on his side, he is located near a place very popular with wealthy customers. It is simple. There, there is the sea. Our direct neighbor, the Ushuaia VIP entrance. Ushuaia, in other words, Yan's Hotel. The Jag is right there, so it's perfect for us. To ensure that his customers will spend well beyond the formula he offers, Greg is going to give his employees amazing instructions. When they are seated, we serve the aperitifs for the order. Directly, like that, we don't waste time and then. People are thirsty and eating good tapenade. Tapenade, aioli, it makes you thirsty. We are in Ibiza, people are thirsty, and we have good rosé in the cellar. When it comes to bottles of rosé, they are priced at the same price, so there are no worries about selling. If they take, you are not going to charge 40 euros. Offer the aperitif, then dry the goziers to place rosé at 40 or even 70 euros per bottle. That is his strategy. All that's left to do is find the customers. Midnight, right across the street from Greg's house. The concert has just ended at Ushuaia. Thousands of people. 
Leave the premises and Greg will try to tap into this audience enough to fill his establishment with 300 places. Because for now, at his house, numerous tables are still waiting for their customers. Even if we were able to stab 300 people in Ushuaia, it wouldn't hurt them. When they have 10,000 people inside, we're tiny next door. To trick customers, these lovely ladies who give bracelets to people. He hired one of the harvesters. They act as hostesses and tell them that the evening is here too. On the front line, Greg sent Valeria and her girlfriend, his best assets. Hi guys, how are you doing? Each time they pass by, the two young women give them a bracelet, which gives the right to free entry. Do you speak Spanish? Our mission is free today. But this soliciting is regulated in Ibiza. Valeria is out of her territory. The owner of the bar next door will remind her. You get out of here or I call the police. You've been notified. Anyway, I'm going to turn you in. You come in front of my bar. Don't stay here. Your club is 30 meters away. Go back there. You're not allowed to get closer than 30 meters from here. Encroaching on a neighbor's land involves risks. It's a bit of a war between clubs. Yes, as you can see, the competition is tough here. As the space is good, they resume distribution, very close by. We still have plenty of bracelets. Dozens of invitations. They won't have the chance to sell out tonight. We're leaving go fast. You don't have to stay there. The bar owner carried out his threats. The police are patrolling. Bad news for Greg. The police are coming. You have to stop everything. Don't go then. Greg decides to take a tactical retreat and takes a position behind a green plant. Apparently, there are the cops who are in control. Are you allowed to? It's not legal. Giving flyers is not legal because it can be found on the road, so apparently you can't give it to people. Without the harvesters, it's hard to fill the club. This evening, Rose won't be a recipe. To become a millionaire, Greg will have to be patient. It must be said that in Ibiza, some are starting to find that the bill is rising a bit too quickly. This morning, after spending four days in Yan's club, the group of Swiss people are returning to the country. The excitement of the party has subsided. Gabriel and his friends are going to have to go to the checkout, a moment that they are a bit apprehensive. Hi, we're here to sort it out. Afraid of a hefty bill. A slap in the face. I think it's going to be quite busy. In total, for four days, Gabriel will have paid more than 2,000 euros for two people, travel not included. For the last trip to the beach, before getting back on the plane, Gabriel's friend would have liked to lie down in one of these canopy beds. The fine sand, the last few hours, but it's not cheap. For a four-poster bed, you have to pay extra. How much is it? A four-poster bed costs 150 euros. You always have to pay more. Of course, it's clear. You can get caught very easily. We took the seats. So it's on a free mattress, something rare in Ibiza, that the group of Swiss tourists will wait until departure time. There is another destination in the Balearic Islands, where you can party without breaking the bank. 150 kilometers northeast of Ibiza, a town on the island of Lurca has become the kingdom of low cost. What's his name? Magaluf. At first glance, Magaluf doesn't have much to envy about Ibiza, even dream beaches. Lots of tourists and generous sunshine. Except that here, Tour operators offer stays at prices that have nothing to do with those in Ibiza. Around 300 euros all-inclusive for one week. Every summer, Magaluf attracts thousands of partygoers from all over Europe. 
Most of them are housed in soulless buildings like this. Here, the British are the most numerous. Just this bunch of friends are coming from Leeds, in the north of England. They are in their 20s. In real life, they are studying engineering. But this week, there's no need to talk to them about work. Robin? Yep. Yep. Rob, David, yeah. Chris, and Stephen okay. did not yeah. choose Magaluf that by me. chance. Yeah, yeah. This is the These are the keys the to the apartment, the, the, the small one for the, the power. Actually, you found you the, the city has earned a global yeah. reputation South in terms of debauchery yeah. and ethyl comas. What, you, what, what are your expectations for this year? Um, a lot of drinking, a lot of time in the pool, and... Um, Maybe some, maybe some girls, if they yeah. 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 All girls, definitely, definitely. How many? Hundreds. Hundreds, I hope. <laughs> Before, discover the apartment included in their 300 euros package. Oh, yes, nice. Six. A small two-room apartment in which five of them will live together temporarily on a tight budget cramped apartment. But in truth, the comfort of the premises is not their main concern. Barely arrived, what Rob and his pals are eager to spot is located around the hotel pool. They are young women who came like them as single women. Let's exchange views. The week looks promising. For now, they have an appointment with Tanya. Hi. How is everyone? Tanya is the animator that the tour operator put at their disposal. How was your flight? Do you want to come in with me? She will oversee the main attraction of this trip, the bar crawl. Tonight, they're going to hit eight bars in a row an exercise to be prepared. This bracelet, which Tanya gives them, is used to get discounts on alcohol. The organizer also came with a quantity of tickets to be on the lookout in some clubs. Are you in something for our bar crawl? Yes! I like it. Um, the aim of the game is one to survive to the end, because it is a long bar crawl. Believe it or not, we do lose a few punches on the way. Um, no, they don't die. <laughs> Tania <laughs> is joking, but it. this tour is risky, <laughs> especially since Rob and his friends are already thirsty. <laughs> Without waiting the evening, they decided to go to a shop near the hotel. A shop full of hard liquors, exactly the kind of merchandise the British came looking for. We're getting a well, snow. Major saving, yeah. Yeah, it's cheap over here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, gone brown. <laughs> Rob and his friends leave with three liters of vodka, a bottle of schnapps, and energy drinks. Yeah, yeah. bottles of vodka, like 18, 18 pounds. Yeah. Pretty steep, isn't it? Yeah, some snaps would be like 16 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, true, man. So cheap. Nice looking at it. Yeah. More drinks either, don't we? Don't it they? is at the edge of the hotel pool that the group will concoct as an imperative a dangerous mixture. Four liters of hard alcohol coupled with energy drinks. Yeah. Blue, go. No. Short in timing. Everyone will swallow the mixture in XXL glasses. That one's going to be strong. We've got this, lads. Big night tonight. Within moments, the effects of alcohol are felt. It's only 20 o'clock, and the four friends are already getting drunk. That is strong, man. Whoa! Whoa! That man, that's disgusting. That's like a capital drinker. Let's move. Let's roll. Obviously, in the hotel, they are not the only ones who have already emptied a few bottles. You're late, man. Woo! 
Some even seem to have gotten a bit ahead of Rob and his group. Let's get some fucking vodka. Rob and his friends temporarily decide to retire to their apartment. The music is playing loud. They will toast and dance until departure time. As night falls in all the hotels, tens of thousands of young people are preparing to invade the city and its main artery, Punta Molina. Punta Molina is a bit like the Shams Elise of Magaluf, except that here, 500 meters long, there are only alcohol establishments. Bars where a veritable human tide pours out at midnight. Wearing a white t-shirt, the hundred people Tania is mentoring. Among them were Rob and his friends who were already very tipsy. To identify her group, Tania, the animator, carefully notes his first name on each shirt. Stay to the right, there is a car. Tanya's mother hen side ends there. Throughout the evening, his role, like that of the other organizers, on the contrary, will consist in encouraging its customers to drink, very often far beyond reason. Bottle in hand, she will start by offering a general round of vodka to Rob and his friends. Well, that's the problem. A little later, the alcohol circulates from mouth to mouth. Even more dangerous, participants are encouraged to string together the largest number of glasses. This evening, it's not just organizations that are going to be involved, wallets as well. After the free drinks, it's time for paid drinks. Tanya's young customers will find out that their packages are far from covering all their consumption. and the bill can quickly climb. As the bars go by, some will spend up to 50 euros just for this first day, a supplement that is almost a quarter of the total price of their stay. Rob and his friends are just getting their night started. You will see that on this street, everything is calibrated to transform, which looks like a simple game in a cash machine. This is the local in the city attracted by the largest number of customers. At the head, Cisco, the king of nightclubs in Magalhães. Within a few years, Cisco found the recipe to turn low-cost tourism into a real jackpot. For 35 euros, he offers his customers chance to spend an entire night dancing and especially to drink alcohol at will. Its formula seduces thousands of young people every day. Stuff. They are very quick. They make their things always very quick. They are really professional. And of course, we have used that like the normal things. But Cisco doesn't offer just any vodka at will. 
Despite a Russian name, it is produced on the island. See, this is make it here in Mallorca. It's a local vodka. A local vodka is rather low end. According to our information, it would cost him less than three euros per bottle. As a result, even when serving customers at will, it is reaping comfortable benefits. Outside, the bar crawl continues, and some people are starting to blame it. Tiredness, nausea, loss of control. The evening is getting out of hand. Yet familiar with drinking parties, even Tanya, the presenter, cannot believe it. Rob is also starting to stumble, but that doesn't mean interrupting your bar crawl. Let's do it. Let's do it, bro. Five more to go. Five more. Of course I'm gonna make it. I'll make it even if I'm crawling there. I will crawl to the last bar. I will make it. I swear down. I swear down, man. Dave! Go! I want to shag Tanya. That's it. Is how it is. Real talk. Real talk. The presenter is not here for that, but there are other opportunities for Rob and his friends are going to show up soon. With alcohol helping, girls are showing up to more and more provocative and enterprising. Obviously, the students in Leeds are not losing a beat. Rob has already gotten down to business. From bar to bar, he goes on conquests and languorous kisses. The evening is getting hotter and hotter, and to better bring couples closer together, Hanya, the presenter, will add more by proposing a new game. That's when Rob will find the one with whom he will end the night. Is it the right one? Just for holiday. Do you know I mean? Not for real, no. As he was the first to conclude, his friends give him a gift, the key to the room. Meanest bird right here. This is a nice hotel. We've got a mint hotel. His friends are going to have to come up with a plan B. The beach, they are not the only ones to have had this idea. Tonight, like every night in Magaluf, dozens of couples met there for antics almost in public, only a few meters from the main street. A situation that is not without risks, especially for young women. Alcohol and don't mix. Jose knows something about it. This martial arts enthusiast was specially recruited by the city to contain acts of violence. All night long, he's going to patrol Magaluf Beach, so he's getting equipped. His mission is to clean up and dislodge all those who have nothing things to do at the seaside at this late hour, like this group of boys. Yo de respect, okay? No music here, understood. Sir, we don't pee here. No, no pee, venga. 
Faced with numerous excesses, Jose has learned to impose his authority. Did you know there are toilets here? Where, where are you from? Where are you from? London. London. Eh, hey, come on. Hola, you okay? Yeah, fine. Okay. And you better be careful not sleeping here, okay? If he does the cleaning, it is because, under the influence of alcohol, some young women can become easy prey. Hola. And you better be careful for the sex in the beach, okay? Yes. You better be careful for the sex in the beach, okay? <laughs> Oh, yes. Sometimes girls People sleep deeply and guys dogs. take the opportunity to touch he... them and abuse them. Sex. And, and girl, so I'm opening look, my eyes to see if there is sex the or is not. Uh, Last night, precisely, the condition of a young woman heavily girl. drunk and partially undressed will worry her. Girl. Hi. Hola. You okay? Mm. Todo bien? Yeah. Where are you from? Where are you from? Newcastle. Newcastle. Up, please. Up. 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 You remember your hotel? Hey, hey, hey. You remember the hotel? Where, where are you short? You short? I found it to rubbish. Rubbish? Rubbish. You remember where is your hotel, please? What is your hotel? Uh, not really sure. This is a beach Magaluf, okay? Okay, you stay here only or your friends? With my friends. What is your friends? Uh, just chilling. Chilling? Yeah. It's going in the hotel. Okay, no sleeping here, okay? Oh, I see. Uh, and now you go to the hotel, okay, please? Yeah. No sleeping is a problem for, for the boys, oh, okay? Don't worry for the no sex and you, okay? Due to lack of staff, Jose is reduced to a few sermons for the sake of form. Each year, several tens of sex are recorded in the Balearic Islands, and Magaluf does not have a monopoly on holidays that end badly. Return to Ibiza. More than electronic music, it's ambulance sirens that resonate in the streets. All summer long, emergency services spend most of their time to rescue partygoers who are often in very bad shape. Did you take the monitor? Yes. Is she on the beach? No, right here. Like this young woman who arrived in Ibiza only a few hours ago with a girlfriend. Good morning. Uh, alcohol. Alcohol only, alcohol, alcohol and other drugs. Yes. Another drugs, no. ecstasy. I don't know. You don't know. Is your friend? Yes. Yes. Best friend. Okay. Hola. Nervous spasms in young women are symptoms well known to doctors. Be careful. Be careful. Do you think she only drank alcohol? It's not just alcohol, but she prefers to say that. You can clearly see the movements of the jaw, and its pupils are dilated. Hello? No? Why? In other words, the young woman took drugs and her friend is not much better. How old are you? 18. Oh, sorry. I'm 18. A scenario in the form of a routine for emergency doctors. There is no hour. We are high at any hour, at 8, 9, 10 a.m., day and night. We are used to seeing that. Why is she moving her head like that? Synthetic drugs cause that. Rescued in time, the young woman gradually emerges. Can you say hello to her? In Ibiza, synthetic drugs are circulating everywhere. Nearly one tourist out of two would use it. Every night, 
Police patrol the streets literally littered with partygoers suffering from spectacular discomfort. Dozens of writhing bodies and mouths. And many more symptoms. For each synthetic drug, different types of seizures. If drug users are crowding up emergency rooms, they do the business of numerous dealers who come in summer to enjoy the manna. They are mainly found near beaches and at the exit of nightclubs. But more often than not, they operate in broad daylight, in plain sight, and in the knowledge of everyone. It's 60 euros for a gram of coke. It's good. Otherwise, MD euros, very good too. A synthetic drug that is wreaking havoc. A little further on, another dealer offers also all kinds of chemical drugs. Are all your customers tourists? Of course, I don't sell that to locals. He doesn't care about the risks of overdose. Cynical, he prefers to make fun of the impatience of some of its buyers. Instead of waiting, after five minutes, they swallow a second pill and sometimes others. That's why they overdose. Yes, it's just that there are too many people who don't know how to consume. Drugs, like alcohol, contribute to business in Ibiza, a thriving business. Once again this year, two million. 500,000 tourists came in this Balearic island, a paradise for partying and all the excesses. <laughs>